Oh, boogie right. man Ben coming round the band is boogie man Ben. Is boogie man Ben. Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Today's video is going to be talking about issue number three of American Mythology's Fright Night. Uh, now, I just got this book last week when I went to Flying Colors Comics to get my comic books. I believe this just came out recently, but I hadn't been to Flying Colors in a couple months. Back in February, I did a review of issue number two. I got this issue at the end of December of last year. And of course, I got issue number one at the beginning of January of last year. So these things are really coming out kind of they're really spread out in terms of the release schedules for these books. Um, I did enjoy issue number two a little bit more than one. So I was really anxious to read issue three because the way that issue two ended, Evil Ed was back in the picture and he was sort of um, showing up to confront Peter Vincent at this movie showing. And uh, I was really anxious to see how this was going to play out and how they were going to portray Evil Ed in this iteration of uh, the Fright Night story. Um, I did uh, really enjoy um, how he's brought back. I like the way that they developed his character. I really still have an issue with the way that the storytelling is done in these books for some reason. Fright Night is very important to me. This is a, a film that um, I saw for the first time when I was 12 years old. So this, this film is like my second favorite vampire movie after Salem's Lot. And uh, I just know these characters. And like I've talked about before, there was a Fright Night comic book series that started in 1988 that I collected up until early 1990. Um, and I always felt like that book series was a great extension of the film and the characters felt like they were those characters in terms of the, the way that those writers and artists depicted them. I felt like that was an extension of the Fright Night film and I still just am not that crazy about the writing in these books. I don't know what it is about James Kohorik's writing. Um, but I just feel like th there's not a lot really going on. Um, there's things about the book that I think are interesting. I do love, again, Neil Vokes' artwork. They do it again in this one where he he illustrates this flashback uh, when Evil finally does confront Peter Vincent. Um, they uh, go back to what happened after um, he was killed in the original Fright Night film. And of course, Peter Vincent pulls the stake out of him. It was like, what happened to him after that? And I thought that was really interesting. I really loved that. And again, Neil Vokes' art is so good. I don't like the other artists. And that's Jason Craig, who illustrates the remainder of the book. It just doesn't have that same feel. Neil Vokes really just encompasses, his artwork really just encompasses the feel of Fright Night for me. Uh, him and Lennon Delso were the best artists of that original Fright Night comic book series. And I just, I cannot get into Jason Craig's art. And every time Neil Vokes' art shows up, I'm like invested. And as soon as it goes back to Jason Craig's art, it just takes me right out of it again. Also, I'm just not crazy about uh, Charlie and Amy. Now in the original uh, Fright Night comic book series, Amy was only in the first two issues, which just recapped uh, the first movie. She wasn't in any of the other issues. And I almost feel like her character just isn't that interesting. Um, it's just the way that she is written in this book. I'm not that interested in her. I'm not interested in her and Charlie getting back together. Um, this whole uh, vampire coven that's moved into Jerry Dandridge's house, I'm not that interested in. And it, it just like the, the most interesting portion of this book to me is the three, you know, Amy, Charlie, and Peter somehow getting back together, which it, it, it does happen in this book. They finally all come back together at the end um, for a brief moment. And then you have to wait until issue four. But the most interesting portion of this book series has been Evil Ed. Now he goes by X because he still has the brand on his forehead, which I think is really cool. But again, it's that artwork. And I just am not that invested in the storytelling. I think it's just lazy storytelling. And I hate being critical about something, but I absolutely love Fright Night. It's like if somebody did a Salem's Lot comic book and it just didn't, it didn't feel like the extension of the characters from the film. I, I'm not doing ratings anymore, but I am disappointed in this comic book series. Um, it just does not feel... Um, it doesn't make me uh, as happy as that original book series did. That original book series just was so good. And maybe it's because it came out three years after the movie did. It just felt like a really perfect extension of that movie. So some of these real quick, and I know I've shown them in previous videos, but this comic book series is just gold to me. 
and nothing can top it. And this new book series just is not doing what these original Fright Night comic books did. It just does not feel like the same characters from that 1985 film. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend people pitch, picking it up and giving it a, a read for themselves. Let me know if you guys have picked up the other two issues or if you're fans of this iteration or if you even read um, the old books from the 80s um, from Now Comics. Like I said, this book series for me is just leaps and bounds over this one. I love this series. I wish it would have continued for years and years. There were so many good stories that got dropped at the last when they canceled it. But again, you know, I'm glad that I still have it. It was a fantastic run. Yeah, maybe one day I'll do um, a review of that book series. I know I've talked about it in the past, some of my earlier segments on the channel, but it's been a while. Um, but yeah, Fright Night issue number three from American Mythology. Um, also wanted to showcase this one. This is something I ordered. Um, I didn't go to Free Comic Book Day this year. I just didn't feel like going to it. Um, but uh, there was a, of course, there was a Fright Night comic on Free Comic Book Day. I bought it off of eBay. Um, this is just a retelling of the original issue that came out. Um, so it's just a retelling of this issue right here the very first issue of this series but i really love the artwork because it is neil vokes's art and uh that's primarily why i bought it that artwork is fantastic but anyway that's going to be it for right now um i hope everyone enjoyed this like i said i'm not doing ratings anymore but just talking about my opinion on the subject fright night is a very important movie series to me I love the first two films so much. I even loved uh, the remake that came out in 2011 with Anton Yelchin and Colin Farrell. Um, I thought that was a, a great film. It w didn't. Com it wasn't even. You know, there was no comparison between that film and the original. But I still enjoyed it and had fun with it. Um, but uh, yeah, that first film is still the greatest, and uh, the series just doesn't feel like an extension of that. And it's supposed to be d taking place after that happened. So. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like the same characters to me. Um, I appreciate everyone's time. I hope everyone's doing well. I promise I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Hey fellow Fright Fiends, just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. Uh, I've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine. And it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy, stay scared as always.